It's day 10, sorta. It's kinda not yet day, but day 10. Not every day is perfect on a long crossing, and this was one of those days. Day 10 started with my night shift. Everything was going just fine, and like the wind just skyrocketed. And then it skyrocketed again because of the noise and how hard it healed and the rocking, and it was so dark I couldn't see. I just assumed the spinnaker had broken loose. The whole boat went over. <laughs> I seriously was staring at the water. I thought I was going out. I was like, ah! And I thought the spinnaker broke. And I was like, oh, shit. it just sounded like so bad. <laughs> Didn't know what to do. When I came up here, I saw, it was like 17, 18 knots on the wind. I don't really like the way our wind gauge works. Um, it doesn't give us instantaneous weather when it gives us like an average of the last five ten seconds so if it said 18 on there when i saw it that means the gust was well over 20 and we had the spinnaker up at the time so uh it it, it moved us over pretty well uh and then you know as you get healed over like that the rudder loses effectiveness and it turned us into the wind and so then it started luffing and then it started, it started making these really big popping sounds you know as the as it would luff and so uh, we put on the engine, I put on a harness and went up and pulled the spinnaker down. And then now we just got the head sail up and we're still doing six and a half knots on uh, looks like average of 14 knots of wind. So we've probably seen gusts up to 20. All right, we've been motor sailing for the past hour and a half or so because uh, there's a storm back there we're trying to get out of the way of. We got out of the way of that and it looks fairly clear ahead of us. Uh, we don't want to motor anymore. So uh, we're going to roll in the head sail and I'm gonna put up the mainsail. I'm just gonna put one reef in it though. We're already at 15, 16 knots. And if we were to get much more than that, we need to reef anyway. So we're gonna put a reef in it and put a sail. Apparently we're in an area where it's gonna be nothing but um, scattered showers and possibly storms for up to five days. So I didn't know about this. So I'm kind of a little, I don't know. I just don't wanna be in a boat in a storm actually. Yeah, I don't think anyone does. Second reef point on it. Why not? I mean, we've already got 15 knots of wind, so. We are halfway uh, today. It's 1,300. It was 2,600 miles from Cabo to the Marquesas. We've gone 1,300 miles. We got 1,300 miles left to go. We're on schedule for we said 18 to 22 day crossing. We're looking like more like 18 because it is day 10, but technically it's day 8 and 20 and day 8 and 19 hours. So it'll be uh, you know nine full days this afternoon, beginning of the 10th. Um, so looking good for an 18 day crossing, maybe. I'm ready for some beach time. <laughs> uh, yeah, ready for a little walk on the island. Might might be nice. Get off 
when your bedroom and everything is moving all the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only nine more days. Only nine more days. Yeah. A little bit of a squall running through. 21 knots of wind. Not any worse. I think we're okay. Just wait to come out of it. It was up over 22, now it's dropping. Well, that was fun, going out in the rain uh, and reefing. Hitting 22 knots, I mean, it, it slacked off. I think we would have been okay, but, you know, it's the beginning of the night, and if this happens again, we want to be reefed. Uh, if this happens in the middle of the night, especially when Laura's on watch, she might freak out. What? <laughs> You look sexy. Look at how you look all oiled up. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the wet look looks good on you, Bobby. Ow!